with all this rain we've had a lot of flooding around the country but it's not stopping me getting out and having a go oh, it's cold isn't it cold one this morning we're back today and we're going to do something different we're at a carp syndicate and match ponds they got pike we never been popped with pike fishing, have we? No. Nah. Don't know so, what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. I bought a second hand pike rod because I'm going to Bolivia in June, using it for the same thing. Got a nine weight vision, uh, grandma, grandmama. Yeah. Yeah. The big mama line, intimate line, intimate, <laughs> <laughs> intermediate line. I'm I'm checking this on first. This big thing. I don't even know if I can cast it. <laughs> I think we're the other side of the wall with this. I know. And, uh, well, what I've been doing, buying the odd pike fly, and this is my box so far. Do you know, I couldn't even name one of these flies. I know these are game changers. These are from America. These would be good. they got really good uh, movement. A couple of poppers, Martin, give me there. Maybe for Bolivia, a couple of rats or mice. What are you going for first? So I'm trying the big orange thing. Tristan's trying. Perch. It's a perch. It looks like a. Like a perch, pike thing. Give it a go, innit? Yeah. And you're using the rod Andy Banty made me, and you? Yeah. He made me that rod, eight weight, nine foot. So we're going to try and christen that today. Hopefully. Well, my biggest pike is like seven pound on a, on a trout lake while I've stalked it in the margin. Not even intentionally fishing for pike, so double figure pike would be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, there's that fly. And maybe it's the ugly one again. The best lucky bud. <laughs> right, let's give it a bash. There's big fish jumping here now. All around by here, did you? All around by here. Right, then in. Cross that out. Now, in general, um, only the one in July, mate, it's been a bit like a touch and go for me in here. Right, bait fish moving all around me by there now. Hey, come on, Phil. Yeah, I'm in. In already on the game changer. So we've been trying all the pike flies we bought, and what it come down to was the game changer. Right, we get a leave in the water a sec. There we are, first. Pike on the fly, only a little jack pike on the game changer. Let's get him back. And so, this is a game changer fly. I just caught that little pike on, and it's got the articulated body there. I'm just going to show you in the water how natural and how good it looks. The last swimming in there. Come in. Yeah, this was better. Oh yes. Keep that tension on. See the bottom stir up then. Oh, it's another jack. Another jack. 
on the game changer again Missed smashed it. Never it's a tiny pike, but at least it's not a blank and we're getting somewhere. It's gotta be bigger ones out there, haven't it? At least this one back then. He's gone straight away. No. There we are. Hey, nice jump for the camera. Tail walking. There we are. Lovely jack pike there. There we go. Another jack pike. We're getting somewhere. He's ready to go now. Look at that swim off. Oh, I come off. Right then, that's a wrap. Um, three pike, lost one. Not bad for a first attempt. Um, the thing is up there, it's a carp syndicate. Luckily, luckily enough, Martin was kind enough to let me have a go. But the thing is, uh, it's no good for fly fishing. But I had a go. I even put my waders on, just if I could get in the margin, to cast up the margins. But it's a, a big shelf or drop off which was just way too dangerous as the, wa the water is quite murky but there's a lot bigger ones in there maybe I'm a bit late to the party because pike season started a few months ago it's January now um, maybe they're used to the lures they've, had a, they've, they've seen them and got used to them who knows but I'm sure I'll be back I'll definitely be back next winter now at the start of pike season give it a proper bash maybe try some proper pike places to be honest but didn't think I got quite got the double figure pike I was after didn't weigh any of the fish the third one was definitely the biggest to be honest I don't even know if any of the footage I got was good don't know if that camera angle was good to get the takes you know the bend in the rods the strip strike luckily enough I didn't trout set um, which was the main thing but the main reason is to practice chucking them big flies because I'm going to Bolivia in June. I'm not, not nowhere near pro, but nowhere near good actually. But I had a go and I could get I could get them out not bad, not bad. Main thing is, you know, double hauling, practicing the double haul. But yeah, didn't do bad for the first attempt. I'll catch you again soon guys.